face. Ooh, yeah. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I feel Dee -dee -dee. like you took that in a very different direction than I, I was did. Doing. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't <laughs> think about it. No. There's a guy in my work that looks like, uh, I, I was about like, hey, do you know you look like, and he cut me off, and he was like, I look like the kid from We're the Millers, and that evil kid from Toy Story. And I was like, shit, that's the exact two things I was gonna tell you. Oh my god. Like, without even skipping a beat, he, like, knew it. Oh my god, how edgy is he? He's like, no, he just looks like that. He's a really nice kid. Like, I'll huh. show you, and you, I'll set you up on a blind date with the kid that looks like oh the kid god. from We're the Millers and Sid. I, oh, I Toy have Story. seen We're the Millers. You know the weird guy with the eyebrows? I mean, if you're talking about the evil kid, then I'm assuming the mm. one with the skull t-shirt. Yes, but uh, and we're the Millers, you know, the kid that, like, is the boy, the main boy. I haven't seen it, like, since it came out. Uh, look up uh, the actor. Okay. Look up where the Millers and the boy. Hello? Um, they must already be out. I don't know. You guys know, I'll enter a picture of him in the side and to the kid, and if you merge them together... Ten if bucks I, says he'll forget and post. I, I will not, because I watched these. I have to suffer and rewatch all of these. Sorry, right. I'm going back to my own voice. I have to, like, go through and watch all of these. So, yeah, there's no way for me to forget, so it's pretty sad. Oh, she's looking it up, images, and then... You see that boy right there? Oh my god, that is so uncomfortable. But he has, like, black... Like, he has darker oh. hair, and his eyebrows are not as bad. Well, to be fair, he's making himself look more, you know, goofy... Interesting. He's not like a okay looking person. It's just like he looks like that guy. Yeah. I can't hop or anything. They took my hopping ability. God. Don't you worry, fans. I'm here to save a little shit. No, I'm not. <sighs> oh my god. That was great. 10 out of 10 quote of the year. Sorry. That cat looks so angry. That cat looks morally pissed. So it looks like a cat, is basically the After point. After depiction of cats, the game gets a 10 out of 10. Ooh, there's a parade! A parade. Can you stop a the parade? <laughs> Look at that parade go past. Oh god, okay. I'm back, guys. I will try to mute most of the me moving around out. Oh, okay, so that's a really cool parade. I can't move at all, so we're yep, forced to forced. watch this. So we're watching this until I die. Yay! I want to die. What happened to that kid, guy's neck? I know he was talking to us earlier. Not us directly, but like to the to the audience he was talking. Mm -hmm. His neck is super broken. I feel like we're at fault. Probably. If something goes wrong in this town, it's probably May's fault. Let's be real. I don't like Fat Pocket. It makes me wonder like what it is. What? There's a place called Fat Pocket, right there. Oh, I bet they sell knockoff Hot Pockets. My one complaint about my gay Portuguese roommate Lucas is that he's addicted to Hot Pockets, which I find to be kind of vile in all honesty. Really? Yeah, they don't really taste that good. They kind of taste greasy and like gross. And Have so... you had the, the new ones though? Like the, the pretzel ones? Those are no, so no, good. No. Like instead of like a like a pizza dough, they replace it with like pretzel buns, and it's so good. Like there's one that's like I don't even like turkey, but it's jalapeno turkey pretzel bun, and they're my favorite. No, I haven't tried it, but I don't think I would like it either. I'll let you try it sometime. Although I don't trust you with my food anymore. After the incident, I let he he asked for a bite of my bagel today, and then. I didn't realize until there were like three bites left of my bagel. I thought she was okay with it because she didn't thing. say anything about it. I assumed you'd take one bite and hand it back. No. So I wasn't watching you. Well, I'm not I did your it. mother. I did it in front of your face. It's not like I was doing it in secret. Like I'm not your mother. <laughs> I don't watch your every move. That's a lie. I assumed you would be a decent human being <laughs> That's and not eat hey, my it's bagel. Not, it's not my fault you, you trusted the wrong person. Rip. You hurt yourself. I don't know how oh I'm God. supposed to pay for that. You want me to feel bad for something that that it is your mistake. Like I, I do feel bad. Don't get me wrong. I, <laughs> I do feel bad on some level, but who's? Oh who's my it? God! This parade is taking forever. You no, know, I can move now, but my remote's having an issue, so I've been trying to fix oh. it. If you want, can you hop up very quietly onto the bed and get my charger cord? Yeah. Because that's going to be the thing that brings my dual shock back to life. 
just the cord of it, like the main cord parts and the extension. Ow! She Sorry. hit me with it. I didn't mean to. Cruel and unusual punishment. You are now officially fired from the playthrough. But you weren't paying me to start with. That's because you two took away my monetization. Because I swear too much. Because I swear too much. Because we swear too much. Oh my god, I found my future boyfriend. Is that guy in the corner? The edgy boar. That looks a lot like me. It does not. <laughs> it does. You don't even wear leather, because you're I all do. I have leather. I have two jackets, but they're pleather. Because I don't yeah, believe in killing animals. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Colleen, how do I get into this thing? God damn it! We're fine, we're fine! Welcome to the Harvest Spooktacular Water Balloon Toss! You know what to do! Oh, you can figure it out pretty quick! Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to figure it out pretty well quick! <laughs> okay, let's go! Oh, uh, wait, okay, uh... Ah. Oh, can I move? Oh, I can't move. Oh, wow, I you suck at this. You suck at this! I'm not playing! Oh my god. I'll haunt you! I'm extremely cold and wet! Yeah. Ugh! I'm cold, I'm wet, and I'm just plain scared. Is that? Oh, you. Oh, sorry. Is, is this you? That is not Greg, no. Um. The eyes are wrong. The face uh, is wrong. Which which will you get? Will I get to next? Teeth are wrong. Oh God! Stop moving. That's the point. This game is hard when you move. It's not supposed to be easy. Oh, these are the guys we met before. Yeah. Okay, this game is getting significantly harder. Okay, I hit you. Don't just say anything. I hit you. Everyone saw that, right? You hit the side of the board, but you didn't hit him. No, I hit him. Oops, I'm the pumpkin. You hit the pumpkin. You got me wet. That's what all the bitches say to me. Oh so my god, no! I'll mute that out. I'm sorry, you shouldn't have heard that. Respect women. Respect women. 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 Respect balloons. Wear a balloon. Wear a rubber balloon at all times. It's official, you can't have a let's play without me quoting another famous YouTuber. That's fine, one day I'll be quoted. By other people's let's plays. Mm -hmm. I will be famous one day. Today like, I is feel like day. Last Guardian was a lot of me quoting Jack. Now I'm quoting Pewds. Oh my god, there's all three of them to tell me I lost? Oh wow, they, they uh, managed to. Uh... Throw in that promo. Yeah. Everyone hates that pun. Okay, we're done. We're all leaving because that guy. It's like my friend group. When I say any stupid shit, you guys are like, "Never mind. We're all leaving." <laughs> Ethan is no longer the leader. We're all. Yeah, I feel like all of us can get away with a lot, except for you, because you're supposed to be the cool one. So once you say something dumb, we just all give up on you and leave. Yeah, I, don't know. I, I get very little leeway. Because like, Everyone if, has if you pressure. screw up, then like, what does that say about us? So we mm. can't let you screw up. Do you dare spin the wheel of destiny? Do you dare spin the wheel of destiny? Ah, that's my ear. Do you dare spin the wheel of destiny? You're supposed to answer yes. No. Oh my, I guess I can I guess exit. we'll just leave. Explain? No one can explain the power of the wheel. Say that is the unknowable circular s saber slayer. <laughs> slayer. Oh god damn it. <laughs> oh snap. Is it gonna say the Seuss? The Zeus shall be served! <laughs> okay, I'm into this. Fuck, are you that serious? That was a weak ass spin. You're a weak ass spin. Ooh, creepy. Is your arm injured? It's a little sore today, actually. I could tell. I see all. 
Your fortune is your future. A place you will soon be forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. You shall see many things. The fool! Oh, sorry, I fucked that up. <laughs> there are times for running away, and there are times for standing your ground. And you shall know, only in hindsight. So in other words, you're gonna live a normal life that everyone else lives, because this is super vague. Ooh, that, that's not mystical. That's just like a fortune cookie. The cards do not lie. They don't. He's right. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. This is so unknowable. So this is the unknowable truth? You've... You've learned much, my child. I'm 20. <laughs> well, oh god. Me and May are way closer to the age than I actually thought. Right. Well, that's actually was interesting. You must be in the wheel forever in your favor. All right then. My God, subtle Hunger Games. Spawn. I know. That's what I thought too. I was like, is that intentional Hunger Games? I hope not. Probably. Probably. I hate the Hunger Games. I wasn't a huge fan. I didn't really read it. To be fair, I don't have much mm -hmm. leeway. I only read the first one. Uh. It was. I it seemed fairly typical dystopia. Sorry if anyone's super offended. I think it's old enough where people wouldn't be. Ooh, pickaxe. You think she's working? I want to date the cat with gauges now. I've changed my mind. Hey, hey, hey! What you up to? Oh, she's mad at us. Seriously. We're putting on this year's Harfest pageant. Alright, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's that thing supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think. Uh, you think? Uh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear ya. May is so- or Bay is- B is so done with May's <laughs> shit. I know. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. You're just dead. What? I've had, like, three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please. It's a fun part. B. Yeah. I will totally, totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years. Did I stutter? I totally have this memorized since I was a kid. I was born to be this part. No one, I mean, no one can take this away from me. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, let's sing the song. We love Jesus. Come on, you know the words. <laughs> I'm going to cut that part out. I think I cracked the mic. My bad. Oh my God. <laughs> to be spookier. So it's like, 20% actual history now. And like 80% spooks. They made it better. So it's like fake history now? It's like the bad remake. You know bad remakes can be kind of good remakes. Sometimes. That doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal, but gets... Anyway... You've got, like, five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. God, me at every presentation, when I practice and someone else is like, yeah, I'll make it up, I'm like, please don't. My grade's writing on this. Is she standing on the thing? Because it's really cute. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't see you there. 
be ghosts. Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? Through the mists of time I see weary fur trappers from 1973. You flipped that number so good. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> 1793. 1973. I'm, the boombox just I'm came really out with their new model numbers. line with triple bass ulterior. No, numbers are my weakness. That's like how well Brother John! Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point I shall spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree, and besides with uh, a spring. Bless thee, we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched, and from the long and adjusted travels, carrying these 3,000 beaver belts. <laughs> 300. I think it's And you yell at me. Let us make haste, oh, excellent brother. Ho! Oh, travelers, help an extremely old woman! <laughs> oh, please help! What? <laughs> I must have food to restore my youthful form, for once I was a complete- I was a completely fine piece of ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that said. The audience could read. Audience is enjoying it. How God witch. Oh, what a look upon. Cruel young men. Who ye did not even offer me one of 300 fine beaver pelts. To all my ancient bones, you stupid bitches. <laughs> I shall curse thee and thee. And thee very night shall perish. I am very fearful. Steady, brother Stephen. I did not venture out this far to these hills to just words with a hell hag. <laughs> I was born amongst these trees and neither the neither the harvest moon and ye shall die under that moon, bitch. Sorry, I'm gonna beep <laughs> beep those out. <laughs> brother John, I am frightened. Faith, brother Stephen. Art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Yes. Can you bleep everything with dolphin noises? Like Spongebob? Like free. Oh, they yeah. They bleep everything I, I, with dolphins. Okay, I can do that. Yes. Yo, my name. I'm sorry, I can't say that because I was thinking about free and then I was about to talk like Nagasa and Nagisa. <laughs> Nagisa and then I realized. <laughs> do I, it. I can't. Do it. Change I can't. it. He, is he allowed to say the N word or did they beep that out? I'd have to rewatch it. I don't even remember. Are they allowed to say the N word? No, I mean technically no, but that doesn't stop anyone. But it didn't stop I, Ken Ashcorp. No, on my on my work, this guy was like, you know, you can say like he was looking at me. He's a white dude named Gary, and mm -hmm. he looks at me, and I was like, oh, you know, I don't really like. I go like, I you know, I was talking about like the phrase like okay, so he's like, I was saying something, and we both uh, said so at the same time, and he goes jinx. And he's, like, a bit older than me. He goes, do anybody say jinx anymore? I'm like, not really. Only, like, white guys say jinx. Like, I don't even think girls, white girls say jinx. I think only white men say jinx. Or, like, mm -hmm. white, sorry, I think I was making the argument that not even white guys say jinx anymore. It's, like, only white girls that will say jinx. Yeah. And we were talking about it. He was like, but I was like, from my personal experience, you know, black African Americans, uh, oh, so I was saying African Americans don't usually say jinx. He's like, you know, you can just say black. Well, I'm like, well, I never met, like, an African person, so I'm not sure if it's an encompassing term, because not all black people I've met, anecdotically speaking, and this sort of yeah. was saying, just to be funny, which is like, I, you know, and, like, and he was like, you know, you can just say, and he just says the N-word, like, with the, with, the, with the G, with the G-A. No, you can't. And I'm like, but, and then I was like, but can you say it with a hard R? And he goes, no, that's too far. No. Not even, not even, like black people say that and i'm like that's true but i i still didn't feel comfortable to say the n-i-g-g-a yeah. like i do say it 
never. Actually, I never say. Never mind. I was about to say something. I was like, no, I don't. I'm gonna beep this. Whole. Sometimes I say it with Lucas, and Lucas will. I will say it with a hard R at Lucas. Sometimes as like a, hey, this word exists, kind of thing. I'm beeping this while this hole is out. I'm gonna beep this whole thing. Is just gonna be like a guafin a dolphin noises. Please do. Just cut it out. And then no, one like, time, Lucas looked me in the eye and just was like, "Nigger, nigger." One time, I'm beeping that out. I don't oh know God, where so it came bad. from. I didn't mean to say that. Please don't PewDiePie this. No, I'm hoping that you're cutting this all out. But one time, I was hanging out with Kristen, and like, I don't even know where it came from, but I just got really frustrated. But it, like, in a jokingly frustrated way, and it just came out, and I just said, "Boy," I said, "I said, boy." <laughs> you said what? <laughs> Boy. Uh, yeah, I said boy. With the N. And the G-A at the end. No, I said bitch. Bitch N. Bitch. Like bitch. And then. Yeah. With the hard R or a soft G? A. Somewhere in between. No, 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 no. Nogger? Nogger. Nougat. Nuga? Nuga? This is getting Nuga. cut out, right? Yeah, this is all cut out. Hey, like, bitch nigga. Oh, okay. Like, in between. Like, you can't really tell. Like, it could be, like, nigger, but it could be, like, nigga. Oh, this is all yeah. booped out. This no, is I all read, cut out. No, I would like, delete this footage. two times where that just, like, the first time I caught myself and I was like, bitch. And then the second time I accidentally said it. And there was been a couple times where, like, just out of the blue I've said it. I'm like, where the fuck did that come from? Tell no one that I said this. Man, I'm going to have to cut this out. I'm just going to put, like, a black screen that says, a deep conversation about the N-words and its many multiple uses throughout history. And then it's going to come, and then I'm going to pause it back. So one time John Lenny had this story where he was talking about the N-word. <laughs> I and was with thinking the about that from the start. And he's like, I know one's worse because we're talking about one right now. Yeah, because we're, we're saying, saying the word midget and we're, we're not, not saying, saying the N-word. We're just saying the N-word. And he go, and then the guy goes, well, if you say midget, we're going to have a riot of little people. And then John Mulaney goes, promise? <laughs> Anyways. I love John Mulaney. Are thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come here, help me carry these 3,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 beaver pelts. <laughs> But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. What the fuck? Is that it? Is that all we get to know? Or what's going on? Intermission, maybe? We've played this before. Help! Help! Who will help a poor traveler? Uh, um, uh, by the moon and the stars above us, sir. I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? Fun fact, when I used to listen to All American Rejects, which was a dark time <laughs> in my life, and I'll admit it was a very dark time in my life, There, that's how I learned the word beseech, because there's a song that goes, uh, like, that uses the research, like, like, please, I beseech you, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Won't you stay with me? Da, da, da. I beseech you. Uh, and it goes like that. And I forget what song yeah. it is, but it's an All-American Reject song. It's the first time I heard the word beseech. Now I really like it. You got it. it back in my head, man. What, the All-American Rejects? or No, the size of Tyson Ritter's hands. Oh, yeah, she met Tyson Ritter, who's the singer for All-American Rejects. And apparently he has insanely big hands. Yeah, he showed up to my dad's out. work. And, like, my dad told me that Tyson Ritter was coming in that day. And I was like, fuck, Why? man, I know, like, three songs by them. I know, like, um, I used to know their whole Discord album. It was really sad. Oh, my God. Um, I saw them yeah. a few times. But wait, why, why did your dad meeting them? Um, or him? My dad meets a lot of famous people through his job now. A lot of people are Being like a teacher. No, his other job. Oh, what's his other job? Oh, can we not say it? Do we have to mute it? Here, wait. drummer for the lumineers oh, i had a friend who was a big fan of the lumineers sorry we're talking about chris's really uh dad's rare really rare job why, why don't you just take up after him just work at the place 
So let's repeat Cause... it because it's only apparently there's only one of these places. So we can't. Um, it's kind of like where I work. You can't just say it because there's only like I think about. F- I mean, it would only fifty stores in all of the U.S. It would only localize us by state. Um, but yeah, no, like <laughs> I don't like his work. <laughs> That's fair, but you that's not true. I like it. I'm just Cause my dad works at like a specific library based on an author. But um, anyone who likes that author, like, famous people, like, if they have anything influenced by him, they'll show up sometimes or they'll be, like, invited. Um, Like, the library will be like, hey, we noticed this. That's a reference. Like. Would you like to come to the. (laughs) Like, would would you like to come Come to the Ixnay to that. Um, But one one time Tyson Ritter came and it was super awesome. And, like, but my dad told me that Tyson Ritter was coming. He was like, hey, do you know the All-American Rejects? I'm like, vaguely, yes. I love a few of their songs. And he was like, yeah, their lead singer is showing. Like, do you want to go to work with me tomorrow? And I was like, sure. So it's just, like, working on homework in the back room. And then, like, he sent um, one of his, like, one of the other ladies that worked at the library. Like, she came back to the back room and was like, hey, your dad told me to tell you that Tyson's here. And I'm like, fuck. I, like, I specifically dressed up. Yes. I bet he was. I, um, I thought he was. I specifically I'm a straight dressed man, up but for Ty- it. But Tyson's a pretty hot man. I met yeah. him once. I, but I was, like, at a, a work tour. Yeah. And he was there, I think, and I, I did get, like, I did get to meet him. But no, I hope my dad didn't notice, but I definitely tried to, like, dress especially nice, because I was like, fuck, I'm gonna meet Tyson Ritter. Who's, like, a hot hand man. Yeah. It, w- it was a very brief encounter, but I just, I went up to him, and I got to shake his hand, and he introduced himself to me, and it was rad. But no, the thing was, his hands were huge. Like, his hands are, like, the size of my head, maybe bigger. Like, I was intimidated by the size of his hands. And, like, shocker, he's a musician. He smelled like cigarettes. So if you're ever wondering, facts about Tyson Ritter. I'm going to call this video the video about the All-American Rejects meeting. Or meeting the American Rejects. Or uh, Mike Uh, Tyson Ritter's But only one of them. Only one reject. Or how about, uh, I'll call this, like, his name, a huge hands huge yeah. penis all american rejects I like wish. oh god he's married though so was he married at the time yeah i think so okay. i'm pretty sure. sure i feel like all the musicians that i have crushes on are married except for the one like my biggest musician crush and i think he's single last i checked Is i think he was in a relationship from imx no he's very private about it i have no idea i'm Some convinced are. i'm like, convinced that he slept with everyone in the band I'd say at least... Boy and girl. <laughs> like, less likely John, but I feel like definitely he slept with Janine. But that could just be me. I don't know if I have any musician crushes. I think a lot of lead singer musicians are very attractive. Yeah. Like, even pop band ones that are just uber overhyped. Mm-hmm. Like they're, most people are very attractive who are famous. Which, yeah. are, which is why they're famous, is because they're so attractive. Mm-hmm. I know, my biggest musical crush, uh, last I checked, he was dating someone briefly but i think they broke up and currently he is single so when i go to see him on tour this summer i didn't get meet and greet tickets so i won't meet him but man if the, if i have any chance just wear a I very big some... push-up bra i don't need a push-up bra no, but wear one. Oh my god what if he's not a tits person wear a butt push-up bra oh my god <laughs> <laughs> push-up bra for my ass I, I actually those do kind of exist Fair. mostly for men yeah i feel like i'd need to lose weight because i feel like his type is skin and very pretty also he You're doesn't pretty in a pretty way i guess no in, i'm not like from a he likes, brotherly aspect um, like hollywood pretty girls as i have found from his previous relationships remarkably he doesn't like edgy girls like he looks really normal looking girls like the skinny blonde kind of and now your hair blonde <laughs> i don't look good blonde i don't know about that you have pretty eyes plus like i don't want to stand out because at that concert all the fans are gonna be edgy that's gonna make you but, stand like, out so much more though oh my god i will be in You'll pit be, just stand up front in the pit in like a nice little sundress yeah and just be like for it tear my tear my them. dress open and be like take me daddy throws it yourself onto stage security has to come pull you <laughs> off i'd die he almost died on his own stage, man. 
I remember the time that okay, don't ask me why, but I did go to Warped Tour once. Mm-hmm. The same time that I, that it was the the singer of Black Bull Brides, Andy mm. Beersack. It was yes. a time where he got impaled by his stage. Yeah, at the time before, so he couldn't make it to that one because uh-huh. he was in the hospital because he broke fifteen ribs. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, his chest still hurts like to this day. Like he can feel little shards of bone. I forgot what happened. I just know. I didn't really care. I didn't go for him. Um, he was climbing up on the stage and, like, jumped off and, like, slammed his rib into an amp or something, I think. Yeah, something like that, yeah. I only saw a video of it, but not an explanation of what happened, I was, so. I was, I was at that year's concert, so. Rip. I saw him last year. That was great. He's beautiful. He is a gorgeous He's man. He's very gorgeous. His music is all right. I'm not a big Black Hill Brights fan. I hate his but... music with a burning passion just because it really sounds too f- country-esque. His voice yeah. is very country-esque. Uh, but, you know, he's a very handsome man. I'll very much admit I'm not going to yeah. deny the f- true facts there. He's not as handsome as my top, though. That's not true. He's more handsome, but like less I... my type. Yeah. I beseech... Th- oh, sorry, this is you. I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? Bitch ass. You're in this? Yep. Ugh, witch. Yep. I swear thee, fiend, this is very day. Horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Zwoons. We can't buy the very spring beneath the dead tree. And ev- even now his body lies upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of 300 beaver pelts. <laughs> oh, it chilleth the heart. <laughs> Did I go the spring? That any man who shall drink from it shall perish. Uh, I'm slain. I join thee now, brother Stephen. Wait a second. <laughs> Wasn't he calling the other... What was the other brother then? Uh, well, probably something They else. said it, but I forgot. Uh, same. Wow. I am also undone, for I have drinketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Craig. Bye. Bitch. Ass. And yet... Even there. The curse's lust for blood would not be sated. You know, you could actually die from, like, drinking water. Yeah. Like, unfiltered water for many... Yeah, I know that's a really obvious thing to say, but I was thinking about this one time I was watching this, like, documentary about deadly viruses called The Monster Inside Me, which used to air on Animal Planet, I believe. Mm-hmm. And there was this one that's really popular. I, I see it a lot. Like, this happens quite a bit. It's usually in, like, lakes... Oh my god, okay. if you're talking about the freaking brain-eating virus yes. again... It's not, no. it's not a virus, though. It's or a like, parasite. Yeah, it's no, because, like, there was this one time we went kayaking, and one time I just wanted to walk in the water, and you were like, caution, there might be flesh-eating parasites in this water. Don't stick your head under the water, or oh, yeah, your brain go, will be eaten. Because it goes through your nose canal. Yeah, yeah and, and it, it traumatized starts, me for the rest of my life, it's pretty and now bad, any it's, time, No, I it's true, because it, it, the case took place in Indiana, which is why I was so paranoid oh, about shit. it. Oh, shit. It, they're not just in Indiana, though. They're like, oh, shit, Christ. <laughs> that out. <laughs> all that, too. All that cussing, too. Uh, that's all. That, anyways, it's native to this state and other states nearby. And there's actually a house episode about it, too, because it can also mm-hmm. be found on, like, faucet water. If Weird. you, like, if you, because you can drink it and you're fine, but if it goes up your nose, then, like, it can get oh. into your brain cavity and then, like, you can, like, that's it so gets into your, now. like, nasal and lungs and it goes up from your lungs and it finds out your brain and you would not be... S- I already said it. Okay, fine. <laughs> but yeah, sorry for sorry. all the like intermediate conversations. Sorry. You're my pillow now. Apparently so, but at least it gets you closer to the mic. Woo. Oh, wait, they're alive again? <laughs> Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Oh shit, I, that was like a weird Greg. Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Brother, we are now ghosts. Oh, I'm tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. <laughs> it would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Toth, that witch, know what she hath done. 
But how can they live here if they all, like, are cursed by this? I know it's, like, 80% like fiction, but, like, this really confuses me. Um, um... Uh, crap. Uh... Four... For what is a ghost? But that... What is a ghost that which haunts the empty space? That was once full. I don't know who that is. So I'll do it. And, and once one... haunted can be unhaunted. Oh, yeah, you do this. You! From the bus station. Young witch. It is I, the god of the forest. Uh, didn't... Uh, just didn't expect you to... Ain't that the way. So... Which, thou hast tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to wander the night throughout the stranger places. Oh god, how did you know? Young witch, let me speak wisdom unto you. We begin and we end at night in the woods. I get it, night in the woods. <laughs> but, um... But that is not the whole of the story. I'm pretty sure this that was a big, like, probably hint to the story, but I totally missed it. Anyways, uh, because I'm too busy making fun of everything going on in my life. <laughs> da da da. Da da da. Ellipses. This is your line. Forest gone, thou hast no power here. Even now, thy end beginneth. Ah, my internal, my paternal powers! Shh, young witch. Even now, the world you know and if, and who can say what lieth in the world to cometh? Wow. Beware as you goeth. For there are goeth. ghosts, <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> Ooh. I made her do that. Take care. Bitch ass leaving me here. I'm by my lonesome. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the fuck's Be I don't aware of, of the ghosts. This is just a series of And dolphin so noises. was founded then this festival. On Halloween. Wait, why did I, why did Brother Steven get like the actor for Brother Steven get like a little hat and like a little metal medallion? He wasn't special. I was the real winner of this show. I'll give you a medal. On Halloween we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I may our ghost decree it. And beaver population suffered a decline. And now the biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. Now leave before I cuss you all. Oh no, audience. And that's our show. And be careful as you leave here. For who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out. From the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local businesses. Oh my god. No, it reminds me of my favorite RuPaul scene ever. Like, there was just one random part where, like, you know how he always says, bring back my girls? Yeah. There was, like, one time when he was just like, Bring back my girls. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. My favorite was, like... And then, like, the music, like, turned off, like, as he looked up, and it was, like, a really weird sync. My favorite was, like, charisma. Like, does she have, like, blank, blank, and, mm -hmm. like, nerve? Well, she has a lot of nerve to wear those shoes, and I love that. Yeah. Like, that was a really good season. Anyways, your turn. Gee, thanks, guys. Where's Angus? I am never doing that again. So, what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more of a 
date thing? Oh. Who do you think is the bottom? <gasps> Greg. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to bu- to the buffet out by the Ham Panther. I'm guessing he's done invited, so he's going to feel all alone. Kind of have to go. Business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? No. Damn. Okay, well... Good night. Night. All by myself. This, this is garbage. Shit, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It I saw garbage accident. and immediately my brain was like, this line is for me. Mm-hmm. Whoa. No, I like that person. Whoa, whoa. That was a lot. Whoa. How, are you not Is gonna, it me what or the, does the oh top my of God. that almost look vaguely like a minion? Yeah. Hey, anyone? Rip. Ah, Fuck. I just let that bitch get murdered in front of me, and I did nothing. He wasn't murdered. He was chloroformed. <laughs>